Limiting driving pressure to 14 centimeters of water or under is a practical strategy to reduce the risk of volume trauma. The practitioner can easily meet this target by utilizing pressure control ventilation and never setting the pressure greater than 14 centimeters of water. The set of tables, pressure control setting for targeting tidal volume per kg per ideal body weight displays the relationships between tidal volume, compliance, and pressure control setting. These tables can be used a few ways. One thing to mention is these tables can only be used in pressure control ventilation, adaptive pressure control, example PRVC, or volume control ventilation with a fully decelerating flow pattern. So if you are using volume control ventilation, you want to use a fully decelerating flow pattern or the table's math do not line up. So here's an example of a ventilator with four different flow patterns. And as you can see in the lower right hand corner, this is the flow pattern you want fully decelerating. Not all ventilators allow you to set a full decelerating flow pattern. Most use the constant flow or the square pattern as seen here or a partial decelerating. So this is the most important thing is if you are using volume control and you wanna use these tables, it has to be fully decelerating. Additionally, if you are using pressure control, your inspiratory time has to be set appropriately, allowing for a fully decelerating flow waveform pattern. This meets all the inspiratory time constants of the lung for optimal lung recruitment. As you can see, my eye time set appropriately as evidenced by a fully decelerating waveform. So if I look at my red waveform here in the picture, that is my flow waveform. And as you notice during my inspiratory phase, that my flow returns to baseline. So that's evidence that my eye time set appropriately. Now, if I don't have waveforms to validate my inspiratory time, I can use my inspiratory time constant. So this is, I'm gonna get more into this into my chapter under timing, but what you can use is my table to set an optimal eye time and pressure control ventilation based on the expiratory time constant. So this is a great ballpark place to start. It might not always be fully decelerating because sometimes I need four time constants for optimal lung filling. Now, how does one use the table? First, you want to select the table for the right gender. So one of the inputs is my gender, and this is a male table because one, I know that by my colors. It's in blue. My female tables are in pink, and as you can see in the top right-hand corner, under the title of the table itself, it says pressure control setting, ideal body weight, and it has the icon for my male patient. The other inputs are my height, so I need to know the height of the patient in either inches or centimeters, and that gives me multiple outputs. It gives me an output for my ideal body weight, my tidal volume if I was targeting 6 cc's per kilogram, and these are my other inputs are my compliance variables too. So example is, what I do is I get a static compliance, and say my static compliance measurement is only 25. So if my compliance is only 25 to get that 6 cc's per kilogram target for the patient, so we're going to use a patient that's 5'9", and their ideal body weight 72, and if I was using 6 cc's per kilogram, which is a normal starting point when we're um, sending out the ventilator, that's going to create a driving pressure of 17 centimeters of water. So that's a potential for lung injury. So this shows me that we want to either, we want to target a lower tidal volume. So let's look at using five cc's. This is the same patient. 
and now we're targeting 5 cc's and for that same compliance at 25 you notice that we are able to maintain that target tidal volume per height and per weight and my driving pressure is only going to be 14 centimeters of water. However, if we want it below 14 centimeters of water, we need to target a smaller tidal volume. So let's look at 4 cc's per kilogram. Now what we're doing is we're targeting 4 cc's per kilogram for this patient. This patient that is 69 inches. And you can see for that same compliance, my driving pressure is only going to be 12. So that's one of the ways to use the table there is to titrate your tidal volume to maintain your driving pressures at 14 or below 14 centimeters of water. These charts are easy to read. One, they're color coded and as you can see anywhere in the green is going to be below 14 centimeters of water driving pressure. In the yellow it's cautionary, it's showing you you're right at 14 centimeters of water and of course red identifies that the driving pressure is above 14 centimeters of water.